Hey, what's up guys? Coach John here, uh, owner and head weightlifting coach at Steadfast Barbell Club. Steadfast Barbell is a USAW affiliated weightlifting club. We specialize in Olympic style weightlifting, general strength and conditioning programming, and a large focus of what we do here is on athletic development and improving uh, athletic performance by way of the Olympic lifts. Uh, we are today going to focus on something that I get asked about a lot. What are some general warm-up procedures and practices that you recommend? We're going to focus on that and then next week we're going to look at cool down. Alright, today I'm going to be joined by my good friend Ryan Husband of Living RX Fitness. Hey, what's up guys? And I'm going to put him through a general warm-up, something that I would recommend uh, for the type of training that we're going to be doing today. Uh, so first and foremost, we're going to jump on the row here just to prime the pump for about three to five minutes, a nice light pace, just to get them warmed up. Ryan, go ahead. All right, so we hit the row for a couple of minutes. Uh, started that general warm-up process. We're going to progress now to just simply putting the joints through a range of motion, a motion that could be expected in today's workout. We'll get into that workout here in a few minutes. But we're just going to focus on some of his, his uh, appendages and limbs and opening them up. So first and foremost, Ryan, would you give me a couple uh, PVC pass-throughs? You're just going to open up his shoulders here, stretch those shoulders out. Notice we're not doing any static stretching here. I just want him to put his joints through a range of motion, okay? Good, Ryan, that's good. So we hit something for the shoulders. You can do any number of things here. I chose to go with that today. Second, we're going to focus a little bit more downstairs. We're going to perform some hip swings. So he's going to use that PVC as a crutch. And you're just going to swing that leg back and forth on the right side, then progress to the left side, okay? I'd recommend anywhere from 10 to 20 per leg, okay? Again, you can do any number of things here. I like this one, okay? Go ahead, give me that PVC, Ryan. Third thing we're gonna do here real quick, he's gonna pull himself down into a primal chair position and drive in and out of that with a good morning. So he's gonna bend by hinging at his hip, bending over, grabbing the top of his foot or grabbing his toes. He's gonna to pull his butt down into a squat. Getting a good stretch, he's gonna drive his hips back up into the air again, stretch that backside. This is more of a dynamic stretch here and opening up those hips again. Give me one more, Ryan. Good. Last thing we're going to do now is going to rotate. He's going to open up that thoracic spine, hit the shoulders again. So he's going to take that right hand to the ceiling, back down to his right toe. Now he's going to open up the opposite direction, left hand to the ceiling, back down. I would go back and forth here again for another 10 to 20 reps or so, as much as you can take. Uh, really good positioning there, Ryan. That'll be good. Okay. Again, you can do any number of positions here. There's three that I chose to go with. Starting to open him up for today's workout. All right, now we're going to move into the third phase of the warm-up here. Now we're really going to get specific, okay? Everything up to this point has been really general. Uh, we're going to get specific now. So today's workout, Ryan's going to work up to a heavy single snatch, okay? So we need to specifically prep that movement pattern, activate the proper muscle groups for that, and get them ready to snatch today, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do, Ryan's going to pick up that barbell, and since we are snatching, we're going to perform everything in a snatch grip. So snatch grip in this instance, you're going to have a wider grip on that bar. Take that bar to the hip crease for me, Ryan. Easy way to figure out that, that proper uh, grip positioning for the snatch. That bar should about be in that hip crease as it is right now. Okay, good, Ryan. Go ahead and throw that bar on the back. Now from here, we're going to activate proper muscle groups. So we're going to do a lot of pulling from the floor, so we're going to hit that back side. So Ryan's going to perform barbell good mornings here. He's going to be in a press deadlift stance with his feet are going to be uh, underneath his hips. From here he's going to hinge at that hip, drive his butt back, slight bend in the knee, and he has a nice flat back as he's performing this. I would expect about five repetitions here. Ryan's just going to give us three so we can move on. That's good, Ryan. Thanks. Moving on from here, we're going to open up those hips now. Lots of squatting today with the snatch. We'll probably squat after we perform the snatch today as we typically do. So we're going to warm up those hips even further with some squats. So he's going to adjust his stance now. He's in his squat stance. From here, he's going to perform five back squats. Uh, slow and controlled down. He's going to drive out of the hole, activate those glutes. Good position. Notice he's below parallel, fully extending the hips at the top. Well done, Ryan. He's just going to do a couple reps. I'd expect about five repetitions here. Okay? Moving on. Now we're going to go overhead. We're going to focus on overhead strength and overhead activation here. So I'm going to have him perform five snatch grip push presses from behind the head. The focus is overhead strength, active shoulder, proper positioning of that barbell overhead. 
All right, so Ryan, why don't you give me a couple of those? Go ahead and pause at the top, look up for me, find a spot on the wall. Notice, guys, he's got a solid active shoulder position. His wrist is laid back. That bar is directly over the shoulder and the hip. Great position, okay? Give me a couple more. Two, one more. Three, good. Now he's going to leave that bar in the overhead position. From here, the focus is going to be on core strength. He's going to perform, perform a number of overhead squats, okay? Go ahead, Ryan. Good squat position. Make sure you're looking up, Ryan. Good position, nice flat foot. Bar remains in that position, that'll be good there. Again, you wanna do about five repetitions there. Now he's gonna relax, bring the bar back down onto his shoulder. No, you're good. Now from here, we're gonna work, 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 we're focused on arm speed and foot speed, all right? Driving ourselves underneath that bar. Starting to, to build up the intensity here, the dynamic nature of this warm up. He's gonna perform five snatch balances. I'm just gonna have him do two or three. I'd expect you to do about five, so go ahead, right? Good, foot speed, arm speed, here's your focus. Drive yourself onto that bar, well done. Notice he used a dip there, that's okay. You can use a dip, you don't have to use a dip, whatever you wanna do. All right guys, now we've uh, made our way to the, the final segment of today's warm up. We've hit everything we need to cover, general warm up, we've done really specific activation drills. Now we're just gonna do some movement prep uh, for the movement pattern of the snatch here. I want Ryan to work through some of the progressions, keep the bar close and finish overhead. So we're gonna perform muscle snatches. I think it's a great way to prep movement, uh, the movement pattern uh, required for the snatch for that. So he's gonna give me a set of three muscle snatches. I'd recommend like set of, set of uh, three sets of three repetitions here. We're just gonna do one set of three. Ryan's gonna get in a hang position. He's gonna perform a muscle snatch, keep that bar close. Remember Ryan, you need to drive vertically, okay? Just push through the toe, keep the bar close. A little bit better, you heard that rattle on the bar, good, you got good contact on the hip, give me a couple more. Good, not bad Ryan, we'll work on that. Now he's ready to go. After he's hit three sets of three muscle snatch, he can start adding plates and slowly working up to his heavy single for the day, okay? Uh, so again, guys, today we covered what I would recommend for a warm up, very specific to the snatch. Some of those elements can be used in any number of different workouts. Uh, next time we're going to focus more on the cool down and uh, the post, the post uh, lifting static stretching is, is typically uh, what we look for and we're, we're going to focus on that next time. So again, Coach John, Steadfast Barbell, look forward to connecting with you again soon.